Hey there flippers and welcome back to Second Life Treasures. So in today's video we are going to be heading back out to the normal charity shops and as normal we're going to start off in the, the Melzer outlet. So you would have seen as we walked in actually they've got um, the whole sort of front section as you approach the store has been filled up with sort of Christmas decks. Um, I'm seeing more and more of the charity shops devoting sort of big sections of the shop actually to uh, Christmas decorations. I know that the, obviously demelza has got the front bit. Uh, RSPCA has got pretty much all of the back room in the left side of the shop. Uh, where else have we got? Uh, Obviously, Bernardo's on our midweek hunts have decked it all out. So, yeah, there's quite a few that have just been decking out whole second sections of this, the, the shop. Um, yeah, I, I don't... I'll be honest, I don't even look at the Christmas decks. Uh, that is a... That is a... What's, what's, uh, what's the best way to word it? Um, that's a rabbit hole that I don't want to go down. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I am just going to be focusing on my sort of the normal stuff I sort of look to pick up. And what I'm actually doing is um, you'll see there that I've picked up that uh, Kindle Bunny. And the reason I was picking it up was because I have actually got one and I'd recently listed it um, on eBay. So I thought about picking it up, but then I remembered that, if I remember right, it was only selling for about six, I think I only got it listed for about six pounds. And when I picked it up initially, I picked it up in the big sort of uh, sale day that the Melzer was doing. Uh, so I only ended up paying 50p for it. And at the moment, everything in that bin there was a pound. So I was paying double the price, and I was a bit like, eh, no, I'll, I'll leave it. But what I'm doing now is, obviously, I'm going through the Harry Potter books that they've got in. And there is a reason for it. Um, all of the Harry Potter books that they had in today were hardbacks. And what I'm looking to do at the moment is put together a hardback collection of Harry Potter books. I've got a few collections. Uh, actually, I am going to talk about this. So, when I found these, I was absolutely over the moon. Because we actually picked up some of these earlier on in the year. Um, I think it was books uh, 1, 2, and 3 we picked up at the boot fair. And you'll see there, they actually had book 4. So, I will say now, I did pick that up. Because that then gave us the full set of 4. And I can then sell all four of them together. So, yeah, that was a that was an absolutely brilliant find today. But going back to the Harry Potter books, what I was saying was I have sorted through um, the Harry Potter books that I've got, and I've now got a better idea. I think I'm only missing sort of like one book to actually make up. Or one book per sort of set. Um, I'm missing... What am I missing? The... Goblet of Fire hardback. I'm missing to, to have a complete set of hardbacks. And then for a, a mixed set of sort of paperback and hardbacks. I think... I think it was the Order of the Phoenix actually I was missing. Because uh, when I looked through, I've only actually had uh, three copies of Order of the Phoenix the whole time that I've been outsourcing, which I know that I've seen more. So unless I've thought when I've been out and about that I had more than I did, but I am now on the lookout more for the Order of the Phoenix. So just having a, a quick scan through the kids' DVDs, you've seen that I was just looking up the cats and dogs. And then moving over to the electricals, 
Um, and I've got quite a lot more in the electrical sections today. And as I'm around the other side, this one does catch my eye. So it's actually a Sony DVR with um, DVD, a DVD writer. Um, and it's got remote. You see, it's got the lead there as well. And all they're asking for for it is £10. So I do pull out my phone because it is in really good condition. Bar some marks on one of the sides. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> um, bar some marks on one of the sides. It is in really good nick. So there was no, I couldn't see a model number on the front of the DVD. So I do go to the back and someone's actually put this um, pack testing certificate over the model number. So I'm just going to sort of ease it off. I'm not doing any damage and it's easy enough to sort of put it back on. Uh, just so that I can sort of get to the, just so I can see the model number uh, so that I can search it. It's actually quite funny because um, where we're having the where we're having problems with the pack testing um, sticker. So this is a, a test that companies have to perform on their electric electrical equipment every two years. Uh, the company that I work for at the moment are actually sending me on the course to do that tomorrow. So the day when um, so B actually sorry today uh, the day that you see the video. Um, I am actually going to do the pack testing course and what I am probably going to do is to buy some of the testing equipment for myself. Um, testing equipment is about £150 um, and potentially I may start doing uh, pack testing on the electrical equipment that I'm sending out. I don't, I don't know 100% whether I'm going to do it or not um, but it is an option. Um, I may I may have a chat with sort of the guys in work, see if I can, um, if I can borrow the equipment one night, bring it home, do some testing, then bring it back in the following day. Don't know, um, but that's something I'm thinking of doing. But that is going to be it for Demelza, and you'll have to wait and see to the end of the video whether I picked up the. DVD player or not and what we're doing now is we are in Age UK um, I'm going to fast forward through most of this because we do actually strike some get some good luck in here actually um, because as soon as I walk in I see loads of sealed box sets so what I do is, is I do go through sort of um, scan as many as I can uh, there's actually sort of three, um, the ones that I'm looking at now are Cheers. Um, there's actually three different ones, they're all three different series, um, but one of them was open, so I only picked up the sealed ones. And yeah, I'm just going to sort of fly through the, the DVDs here. So at the moment I'm just going through picking out anything that is sort of new and sealed. And what I'm also doing is rattling them about, or just... Uh, shaking them a bit just to make sure the discs are sort of firmly in place. Um, I will say a couple of these I think are um, do end up being loose when I get home. So unless I'll, I'll probably grip in the case a bit too tight. But yeah, so at the moment I'm very very focused on DVDs. I have been picking up DVDs left, right, and center. Um, I've actually got a, a video that I'm really interested in filming coming up. Um, it's going to be based around a DVD, a couple of DVD mystery bags. So, yeah, I will keep you apprised as to that one. So, yeah, you'll see there we've got a massive pile of DVDs and that, that's going to wrap it up in Age UK. But what we are going to do is head off to, we are in British Heart Foundation now. 
And the reason that I'm scanning uh, Sex in the City is because it's a DVD that I did pick up from one of the other towns a few weeks ago. Um, but the big difference is I think I paid about 50p, I think it was, at the other town. Whereas um, here they are charging 99p for it. So it just doesn't... It, there's no sort of value in that for me. And then, just before we sort of head out, um, I do stop off and have a look at the puzzle section. And I do see straight away there's a couple of editions of Monopoly. So we've got, um, I think it's Monopoly Empire and Monopoly 2006 FIFA World Cup. So with Monopoly Empire, I think I've got a copy of it. Um, I think it was one that we picked up for my little one a few years ago when they were in sort of playing Monopoly with us. But the FIFA World Cup one, I'd never seen that before. Um, but I'm just having a look for the barcode on it. Just there on the back. But yeah, when I look at this one, it's not worth a lot at all. Um, I think it was sub £10. So I end up leaving that, but I do pick up the other one. And yeah, I was, I was really shocked at the, um, the FIFA Monopoly because it was... It's not one that I've seen too often. Um, but then I actually say that, I think I've seen it a couple of times since. I'm not too sure can't quite remember but yeah when I was in there on the day it was very much sort of like that is not one that I've seen before and we're now in PDSA so we once again straight into the DVDs and I've got a couple of games off to the side as well that I have a look at but what I am going to do here is speed through Picking, uh, having a look through the DVDs because uh, once again I am going to sort of scan a lot of the sealed ones that I find. Um, I do find in here there's not as many sealed DVDs um, and they de definitely don't sort of rotate through them often, uh, that often. There are obviously, I think I've been in here. I want to say three times since filming this. Uh, or sorry, another two times since filming this. And a lot of the DVDs that I saw here on this, this visit were still there when I visited sort of the weekend just gone. So that would have been the second visit after this one. But yeah, I do sort of, I do go through, do have a look. Um, we do get some good pickups out of here today, actually. So I'm really happy with that. So we are just scanning the, the last few. Yeah, quickly just having a, a quick scan through, see what games they've got there. See if there's anything that I'd want to add to the uh, add to my gaming collection. And then what I tend to do now is because obviously at the moment I'm not really focusing on clothes because a lot of the clothes that I've had listed um, haven't really been selling. Um, say that though, this weekend just gone, um, I did sell. Uh, one of the land wall jumpers that we picked up a little while back. So, and a lot, I'll be honest, a lot of the other stuff I have yet to photograph and get uploaded because doing it on my photography table doesn't really work. So what I am hoping to do is I'm actually off work this Friday coming um, and the plan is, is to literally have a day of just 
uh, photographing and uploading products. So hopefully I can get most of the clothing uh, photographed and uploaded. And hopefully I haven't missed the sort of winter window. So yeah, just having a look at this, obviously this is um, brand new and sealed. Um, I can't remember how much they had it priced up for. But yeah, it was, whatever it was, it was worth picking up. Okay, so this is the big one for me. This was one the one shop that I was looking forward to going into all weekend. Um, this is the brand new Making a Difference in Maidstone. So it's something I've been going on about for ages now. A good couple of months, I think it is, that they were moving to a new store. And this is the new store. So this was the first Saturday that they were opened. Um, I mean, they opened the Monday before this. And as I say, I've been in there sort of three times since. Um, and they've seen, it seems to have sort of settled down and they've, I think, found their footing with regards to the new space. And yeah, I will admit, I was absolutely gobsmacked when I first saw it because it is about four or five times bigger than their previous store. Um, and it's actually right next door to PDSA. Um, and this used to be um, an old Argos. Um, it got shut down, it closed down last year uh, when I think Argos as a whole has closed down all of their stores and have now moved into inside Sainsbury's uh, or Sainsbury's stores, sorry. Um, so, yeah, uh, it was, I was absolutely gobsmacked when I walked in about how much. I was talking, one as one of the staff members that I sort of talk to and I get on really well with. Um, I think I've mentioned her before that she always calls me cameraman. And, yeah, I was um, talking with her a few weeks before this. And what she was saying was is that they originally had two stores in the town centre. Um, they closed one of them down. Um, I think it was in sort of preparation for sort of moving in here. Um, and that was before I um, I started sort of going in. And that store basically had all of their sort of electronics um, and furniture, like big furniture in. And yeah, that, that got closed down and it's now all sort of gone in here. So just having a, a quick look through the DVDs here. And once again, I want to apologize for the drawstring on my hoodie. I am trying to make a concerted effort to remember to tuck it under the straps of my rucksack. But there are some times where I just forget. And yeah, so at the moment I've just picked up a... Um, Two and a half men uh, DVD, but what I do find out, and it's the only thing I don't like about this shop, <laughs> is that there is no mobile reception at the back of the store. So um, yeah, I'm currently running on is it E? Um, I haven't even got sort of 3G. So what I do is I continue sort of looking about for a bit. And then what I do is, is I actually walk to the front of the store to basically get a signal so that I can look some bits up. So just quickly, I'm having a look through the games uh, for stuff to sort of add to my personal collection. And I end up picking up that one. But what I do then do is on the little shelving unit just around here, I've got a few DVDs. And there's some different ones. Uh, I think there's that's a Sony one at the bottom there. And sorry about the positioning of the camera. I know it's a bit low in here. So yeah, I'm just what I, what I end up doing is taking note of the model numbers, and then when I get to the front of the store, I then look them up. 
but what I'm going to do now is I am going to um, go to the front of the store, have a look at the look at these up, um, and then what we'll do is we'll head home now. That's going to be the last um, last bit I want to go through, um, and then we'll have a look and see what we picked up. So I will see you in a second. Okay, so we are back from the charity shops and yeah, as you can see, an absolutely massive haul today. Um, I am going to sort of dive straight into it because I'm going to get the impression that this part of the video is going to run on for a bit of time. So we're going to start straight away with the Monopoly that we picked up. So it's Monopoly Empire which plays slightly differently. The idea of the game isn't to amass the properties and sort of bankrupt the other players. Um, you basically have a... Uh, like a path, really. It's a little, a little plastic piece. Um, and you fill it up with sort of different brands. Obviously, the, the bigger the brand, the bigger the piece that you get to sort of put down. And it's essentially the first person to... Um, sort of fill this sort of track really um yeah i think i can't remember if it was this one or another version similar to this that we uh, that i played with um my little one and the other half one time but yeah i didn't like it it was too far away from the original sort of monopoly but i saw it today um did pick it up we picked it up i think this was in british heart foundation we paid 3.99 for it which is not too bad um, and we don't normally pick stuff up in British Heart Foundation because a lot of the time it is um, closer to eBay pricing than we'd like but yeah picked it up for £3.99 uh, looking online it sells for about £15 so after all our sort of postage fees and everything like that we are looking at a £4.50 profit then we are going to dive into the first stack of DVDs that we picked up today. So the first one that we've got is Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix Blu-ray. Now originally I actually picked this up for myself because I'm actually trying to get all of the Harry Potters on Blu-ray and the only one that I'm actually missing is Goblet of Fire but when I was out at the charity shop I thought it was Order of the Phoenix and when I got home, realised that it wasn't, so I just decided, well, I will stick it up on eBay and see what we can get. So looking, so we paid a pound for this. Looking online, um, it sells for about four pound in pre-owned condition, and that would net us a 27p profit. Which, as I say, not too fussed about it because it um, it was one that I bought for myself. And as I say, I've already got it, so don't need it. So just going to chuck it up. Then next up, we've got um, I think all of the the rest of the DVDs, bar one, are all sort of brand new and sealed now. So next up, we've got Big Bang Theory Series One uh, DVD box set. We paid 50p for this. Looking online, it sells for around six pounds. So that would be a two pound 57p profit. Then we've got Harry, uh, Happy Gilmore, which is an Adam Sandler golf film. Absolutely love this film. I think it's a brilliant film. Uh, we paid 25p for this. Uh, it sells for £4 brand new, uh, which is a £1 and 2p profit. We've then got... <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, Woman of Substance. Um, I don't know too much about this one. Um, I just happened to sort of see that it was sealed, scanned it on the eBay app and sold it, saw that it was sort of selling for an okay amount, so picked it up. So once again, we paid 25p for this, um, it sells for £4, and that would net us a £1 and 2p profit again. Uh, then we've got, and I think I've worked this out wrong. <laughs> uh, so we've got Atonement next. Uh, we pay 25p for this one again, uh, £4 sale price, and for some reason I've got the profit down as £1.62, which doesn't add up, because the last two were £1.02p, and so uh, yes, that is going to be wrong, so I'm going to put that down as £1.62, <clears throat> and hopefully I'll remember at the end to uh, adjust the total. <laughs> 
then finally in this pile we've got cats and dogs uh, this one is also brand new but it is in one of the original uh, DVD cases so the way that the DVD cases used to be is they'd have sort of a cardboard um, sort of cover and then the, sort of uh, the plastic bit that the DVD sat in basically clipped onto the bottom of the cover and then had a clip on the right hand side to keep the cover closed uh, these ones were sort of what you'd get <clears throat> predominantly when DVD sort of first released uh, before you get the um, sort of the big plastic cases that we get predominantly now uh, these were released around sort of 1999 uh, when DVZ sort of first started uh, becoming prominent uh, so we paid 50p for this one and looking online it sells for about 50p um, that is only going to be a 56p profit um, I thought it sold for a bit more when I was sort of looking at it in the Melzer but it is what it is it's still a profit it's not a loss and then it's a, another sale that's going to help us with the eBay algorithm then we move on to the next pile and the first DVD we've got there is Brick Lane uh, that one we pay 25p for uh, we actually got Brick Lane um, Big Bang Theory Happy Gilmore Woman of Substance and Atonement um, as four I thought that was four for a pound or five for a pound I don't know <laughs> um, but that one also come from uh, da, 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 da. Age UK that was where they come from uh, so yeah Brick Lane 25p uh, sells for about <clears throat> uh, da, 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 where am I looking 25p three pounds uh, so that would only make us about a 15p profit <clears throat> because what I have also done um, and this is something that is really important when you are buying DVDs to resell one of the most important things to do is to weigh them um, because obviously the DVDs all get sold as large letters but most DVDs especially sort of single DVDs and some most doubles as well um, will be anywhere between about 80 grams and sort of 230 grams now as soon as you hit the 100 gram mark that is when the postage price changes so for example I've got, not got it written down here but uh, I will know sort of Harry Potter for example that will um, with the post with the packaging that will be under 100 grams so to send that second class you're looking at 96p as soon as you go to 101 grams it then becomes one pound 56 to send um, second class so when you're out at the charity shops or the boot fairs wherever you're sourcing from you've got to sort of start getting a, a bit of a gauge on sort of how DVDs weigh um, now this will come sort of over time sort of as you sort of weigh and experience sort of more DVDs but th that is that can be quite crucial especially when you're sort of getting low price DVDs so for example with um, Brick Lane um, I haven't actually got the weight written down here um, what I'll do is I'll stick it at the bottom of the screen now what it weighs that is what it weighs with the um, padded mailer that I send them in and the thank you cards um, I think the padded mailer and the thank you card weigh about 14 grams on their own and then you have the, the DVD on top of that as well um, that is then sort of how I sort of calculate the weight and then how I calculate the postage on my spreadsheet but I do go into that in a bit more detail in last week's uh, or the Saturday just gone's um, starting a resale business for £10 um, I'll stick a link up in the top corner to that one if you want to have a look at how I what I do with sort of my products when I get home and how I sort of track everything uh, but yeah Brick Lane um, is only going to be a 15p profit unfortunately then we move on we've got the Ghost DVD we paid 50p for this um, sells for £3.50 um, that would be a 93p profit then we've got Real Steel 
Uh, once again, paid 50p for this. These come out of um, PDSA, and they were doing two for a pound. Uh, so yeah, 50p for that, five pound um, purchase price for that. Um, that would land us a two pound 24p profit. Then we've got one fine day. Now, this one is the problematic one of today because when I picked it up, I thought that it was sealed. Um, I don't know why I completely missed it, but I thought it was new and sealed. But once I got home, then realized that it was actually sort of a, a pre-owned DVD, which basically tanked the value of it. Um, so we paid 50p for it. Looking online, pre-owned condition, it sells for about £2.50. That would only land us a 6p profit, unfortunately, which is not great, <clears throat> but um, I will still stick it on regardless. And then finally, we're going to finish with streamers. Uh, this one, again, we paid 50p for, <clears throat> but this is the better one out of the four that we picked up from PDSA because it sells for £8. That would land us a £4.26p profit. I think that is the, yeah, one of the best. I think that is the best, actually, uh, single DVD pickup for today. Then we move on to a DVD player. So we picked this up from the Melzer. And, yeah, after I'd sort of done my normal bit, sort of looked at the, um, the books in the kids section, looked at the DVDs, um, had a sort of wander around the book section. I always sort of wander over into the, the far corner. It's where they have all of the electronics and that. And today, there was quite a lot there. But then, as I was sort of looking through, I saw this there. Um, saw that it, come, it had the remote stuck on it and everything. And then when I looked at it, I had it listed for £10. Which I thought was absolutely brilliant. So, immediately sort of grabbed hold of it. Pulled my phone out and started to look at what it was going for on eBay. So yeah, as I say, they had it listed for £10. Uh, looking online, I'm seeing um, similar listings and sold comps for about £50. So once we take into effect, take into consideration postage, uh, packaging and fees, we'll be looking at a £26 and 26p profit. And the even better part is, is I have tested this. It does fully work. And as well as it being a DVD player, and I believe it also um, is a, a DVD recorder, um, it also has, a, it's also a DDR, so it has a 160 gig hard drive inside. And when I actually powered it on, uh, the pre there was loads of TV programs that the person had re um, who had it before had recorded and just hadn't removed. Um, I've gone through and I've removed all them now. Um, but yeah, everything works. The remote control works, the DVD works, the DVR works, and it's really good to go. So yeah, going to be cleaning that up and getting that listed today. Then we move on to the Harry Potter books. So we've got three Harry Potter books today. Um, we paid £1.50 each for them. So that is £4.50 in total. Uh, they're all hardback. Um, none of them are particularly high um, editions. I can't remember off the top of my head what editions they are, but we've got Philosopher's Stone, Chamber of Secrets, and Prisoner of Azkaban. But the main reason that I picked these up today was because I think with picking these up, <clears throat> I can actually put together a whole set of hardback Harry Potter books. Um, I need to go through my box of Harry Potter books to just double check, but I think I have now got hardback editions of um, all seven books. So I can put them in, sell them as a listing. Um, and yeah, I haven't got any prices for these um, just because uh, I just want to check first that I've got the, the books to actually make up the set. Uh, but yeah, as I say, we paid £1.50 each for these. I think with the if we were to put a hardback collection together, we'd probably be looking probably around sort of 60 to 70 for that. For that. Um, so I think we'd probably be looking, uh, going on what's the other one way. So you're probably looking about 40, 40 ish pound profit. Um, just dependent on sort of what the price of all the books were. Uh, so yeah, there's that. Then next up, the thing that I absolutely love to find today. So it's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles book. 
Um, the, these books were released uh, late 80s, early 90s. Um, I actually remember because I had all of the books as a kid. But the re uh, when we were actually at the charity shop, once again, I think this come from, if I remember right, this come from Demelza. And when we were there, they actually had all four books. But the reason why I picked up just this one is because I've actually already got books one to three. Um, we picked that up a few months ago at the boot fair. And I've been holding on to them, sort of in the hope of finding book four. So yeah, today we found book four. And um, I'm going to put them into sort of a job lot. Um, I think when I've looked, I can probably get around £15 as a job lot for all of the books together. Uh, but I'll be honest, I haven't written down any prices on this uh, because I can't remember how much I paid for the others. Um, but we paid a pound for this one today. Um, so that should still net, still net us around sort of four to six pound in profit. Um, but I haven't got an exact number there, so that's not being included in the total for today. Then we move on to a load of brand new box sets that we picked up. And first off, we have... Uh, no, I've missed one, sorry. I want to go down to this one first. So we've got Two and a Half Men. Uh, this is se uh, Season 1 DVD box set. We paid 50p for this out of the brand new uh, Making a Difference in Maidstone store. So I've been saying for a couple of months now that they are actually moving to a bigger store. Um, and this uh, last week when I went, um, they were getting the store prepared and we're going to be opening a couple of days after that. So then I made sure that sort of got in there sort of this weekend. And yeah, really, really impressed with the store. Um, I have filmed sort of a couple more of the um, sort of charity shop hunts. I, um, I'm actually a, a few weeks ahead of myself now, which is good. And I've managed, I think I've managed to pick stuff up there every week uh, that I've been in there. Might have been one week that I didn't, but I was closely looking at something. Uh, so yeah, managed to get in, pick this up for 25p, which is absolutely amazing. Looking online, it sells for about six pounds, um, and I believe this would uh, this is under the two and a half centimeters in um, depth, so this would go as a large letter. Um, so yeah, six pounds. Uh, my sh sh list here is telling me one pound thirty-eight. Um, so what's that? Twenty-five. Yeah, possibly that's going to be about right. But still, not too bad. Uh, then we go back to the ones over here. So we start off with West Wing Series Seven DVD box set. Uh, we paid a pound for this. Looking online, it sells for fifteen pounds. Um, and that would net us an £8.84 p profit. Uh, this would go in a large padded mailer, um, but it would also go as a small parcel because of the width. Then we've got uh, Cheers Season 4 bo DVD box set. Once again, we paid a pound for this. Um, selling for £19 on eBay. That would be an £11.97 p profit. And then we've also got Cheers Season 5 DVD box set. Once again, paid a pound, sells for 19, and would get us 11.97 profit. And so again, they're all brand new as well. So all of the DVD box sets that I've got today are all brand new. Then, as I was, um, so the DVD box sets were paid were bought in Age Age UK as well. And after I sort of turned the camera off to go and pay, uh, while I was sort of waiting in line, I then saw a couple of other bits as well. So the first one is right up top here, and I had a basket of sort of discounted items uh, just next to the till. And I've seen this a couple of times in there, um, but they had it in a discount bin for 50p today. And I thought I'd give it a look, I had a look online. Um, it's a 1982 100 piece uh, Blue Peter jigsaw puzzle. Um, I have gone through, all the pieces are there, so it is sort of complete. And yeah, it sells for £10 online. Um, that would be a £3.96p profit. So not too bad. Finally picked that one up. And then I also noticed hanging up on the side was a pair of Crane Teen Pink Ski Trousers. These are brand new. 
Um, they still have, I'm sure, hoping you can see it just there. So just behind the Age UK tag, you see another tag. Um, they are brand new. Uh, we paid £3 for these. They sell for about £11 online. And that would be a £3 and 3p profit. Uh, the Crane uh, range of clothing is actually something that is sold in, um, I think it was Aldi. So in there, they normally have sort of seasonal items that they sort of put out. And these would be, these would sort of come from there. And then to finish off today, we've got a, another board game. So this one we picked up from PDSA. Um, it is the Ultimate Pub Quiz, um, and it's uh, popular music. Uh, we paid £3 for this. Looking online, it sells for £11, and that would net us a £2.33p profit. So, yes, not too bad at all today. Uh, really chuffed with sort of what we've managed to pick up. And I think we've managed to get some really good profit. So, let's get into the totals before we wrap the video up. Uh, total spend today was £34.24p. Uh, total expected sale price is going to be £203 exactly. And our total profit, and I'm just going to adjust for the earlier issue. Uh, so, I've got to... So that would be £87.98p profit. I think that's right, but look at the figure down in the bottom left corner. That will be correct because I'll be um, adding that up sort of as I go through editing the video. So yes, really, really happy. I will say um, I have been uh, as i've said i have been recording videos constantly and i'm a few weeks ahead now um, because the the schedule has been sort of juggled about a bit because of the new the starting a business with 10 pound series um, i think this week's video is going to be the last um consecutive video and then we'll go to the sort of the monthly option so we'll probably be the first week in january um, that we'll have the next video uh, this week we're going to be focusing on actually getting the items ready to sell and listing them on eBay um, and then also dual listing them on Facebook Marketplace as well. But with that said, that is going to wrap up today's video. Um, if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Really, really helps me sort of build the channel. I am now on a big push to try and um, build the channel and elevate the sub count. Um, we've become sort of quite stagnant. Um, we've not had sort of a lot of growth recently. So I would like to really sort of push that. Um, so with that said, if you're not already subscribed, um, please consider sort of hitting that subscribe button and ringing the bell to be kept up to date when I upload new videos. And yeah, with that said, that is going to wrap up today's video. So once again, thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. All right, bye.